The first time I played a Pokemon game on release that I wasn't too crazy about was Pokemon X. To be fair, I was a sophomore in high school and I was spending a lot of my time doing really important extracurricular activities like being a seagull and the little mermaid. I finished the entirety of Pokemon X in two days and never touched it again. I don't think I did any post-game content. I do know I've replayed through Gen 6 I think one time in college, but that is it. I have barely spent any time in the Kalos region. It's now been 10 years since Pokemon X and Pokemon Y have come out, and I decided to replay the entirety of Pokemon X over on my Twitch channel to see how the games held up after so long. This video is a combination of me replaying through Pokemon X as well as giving my thoughts and feelings on the story and game. Are Pokemon X and Y any good? Do I just assume these games are bad because of my nostalgia for games like Pokemon Diamond or Pokemon Emerald? Do I like Pokemon X? Let's find out. It is time we get started, I believe. It does sound pretty nostalgic. All right, Mr. Sycamore. It was kind of crazy how we got like two really hot professors back to back. So we should do a girl, right? Women. I started out my replay of Pokemon X by addressing the elephant in the room, the hot professor. I forgot how much I loved the beginning rooms we had in earlier Pokemon games. I love the personality and the gadgets. This game was so sauce because you could finally change up the look. It was incredible. I also really miss the character and charm Pokemon games used to have when it came to the interior of houses. Gen 9 just has nothing when it comes to houses. Also, why are X and Y and Sun and Moon the only main series games that gave our parents actual rooms you could go into? And here are our tall looking friends. This is a cute little town. Ah, oh, this looks, I remember this rocked my world when I first ran through this gate as a kid. It goes crazy. Hello gamers. Can I call you Lady A? Okay, this is my least favorite part of the game for sure. What happened to just my name? You should decide what we call you. Speaker? <laughs> to understand this joke, let's go back in time by five minutes. Oh my god, can I tell y'all something insane? I got this insane comment on my YouTube video. Somebody like, I guess, put my YouTube video through some AI thing. Okay, this is what it says. Key takeaways for quick navigation under my I finally played the post game in Legends RCS YouTube video. A million different timestamps for just what happened during the video. The speaker is checking their progress in the game, mentioning they have 229 Pokemon out of 242. The speaker engages in a battle. I deleted them all because I was like, this cannot be a thing happening on my YouTube videos. I cannot. The speaker is deleting your comments. Speaker's pretty incredible. We gotta go speaker. All right. So we did a poll earlier for which starter we were gonna do, and Fennekin won. Look at these gamers. Hear me out. Imagine Fennekin is shiny. All right, we need a nickname for Fennekin. I got nothing. Chespin is pretty good. I'm like, I'm liking it. Chespin the Fennekin. Let's, let's do it. This is cursed. So you decided on the nickname Chespin. <laughs> yes. Oh, this is gonna be good. Chespin v Chespin. After receiving my Pokemon Fennekin, or I mean Chespin, it was time to grab the Pokedex, snag a letter to bring back to our mom, and check and see if our starter was shiny. <sighs> we were so close. A letter for me? It says, it says it's from somebody named Sycamore. Do they have history? A love letter, what? I was kidding. What lovely handwriting. Risen up my mom. While I was walking through Route 2 and Santa Loon Forest in the game, I realized that I literally remember nothing about the routes from Kalos. When I think of Kalos, I really only ever remember Lumios because it's the biggest city and Salage City because of the bicycle race courses. Santa Loon Forest gave me the exact same energy as every other beginning game Pokemon Forest. However, Nostalgia for the older games keeps forests like Viridian Forest and Petalburg Woods alive in my heart, while Santa Loon wasn't even occupying a part of my body. I do not remember this forest at all. This is cool, I think. 
So, you got here first. Seems like I'm neighbors with someone who has a lot of potential. Dude, I'm just walking. The way they're just like frozen is a little alarming. I will be honest. <laughs> I'm going to San Luis City's gym to take on the gym leader. I do not remember the gym leaders in this video game. I remember the girl with the Lucario and the roller skates, and that is truly it. I would love to know what is the first gym type. Maybe then I would remember what the person looks like. Bug. Oh, it's the girl with the, the photographer. That's who it is. It's all coming back to me. A fan. There are so many trainers. Ay, ay, ay. I have a lot to say about this, but oh my god, there are so many trainer battles in Kalos. We battled quite a few before the first gym badge, but I literally had no idea what was in store. Oh baby, let's get it going. Just hats? That's it? That's all you sell? Are you kidding me? I am only seeing hats here. I don't want any of these. I guess I will just leave. These homes look so beautiful. Hey stranger, isn't cruising around on town on your roller skates the best thing ever? How about this? If you beat me in a Pokemon battle, I'll give you a pair. Your Zigzagoon is going down, my man. All right, give me the roller skates. This is huge. We're about to zoom. This is skating, baby. This is the future. <laughs> all right, I don't remember this gym at all. What's the hustle, little crustle? Jump on that pole there, and you'll be on your way to the gym leaders waiting for you. Some of these gyms are insane. This is pretty terrifying. Like, I don't think I would ever be able to do this. Okay, we'll save just for the vibes, just for the nostalgic childhood vibes of saving before every gym leader. Is this your first time challenging a gym? Fantastic. I don't remember this music at all. Challenged by leader Viola. Surskit! Big app. Ah moment oh i forgot sir skid is water as well maybe we should have we should have looked into this more all right vivian you're going down bestie first gym badge down hot dog all right i feel like we've battled everybody it only took 20 years oh Jespin is evolving get, look at him turn wow <laughs> Now, Chespin has evolved into Quilladin. <laughs> Alright, so we probably, we're just gonna be safe here and not save on the streets. This music goes pretty crazy. The restaurants and whatnot. See, this is what I miss from Pokemon, is like all of the just buildings and whatnot. This is a weird elevator. Why does he look so tall? <laughs> Arlie, you're an interesting Pokemon trainer indeed. It'd be fantastic if you took another Pokemon with you. Pick one. We are definitely going Squirtle mode. I'm thinking Oshawott. So you've decided to name it Oshawott. Yes. All right, so just thinking about the amount of hairspray this man uses is intense. I am Lysander. Try to learn as much about Pokemon as I can to help build a brighter future. They really like didn't make it subtle with this guy that he was gonna be a bad guy because his hair is literally bright red. After grabbing my first gym badge and checking out Lumio City, it was time to be introduced to a recurring character who I like to deem as the real villain of the Pokemon X and Y franchise. The most sinister character in all of video game history, in my opinion, Mr. Bonding. Nice to meet you, friend. They call me Mr. Bonding. Oh my God. Have you heard about O powers? Girl, what are you talking about? <laughs> Is this just, uh, it's bonding time? You received an O power from Mr. Bonding. Attack power increase, no way. He's a crypto guy. He really does give off that vibe. Hope to see you around. All right, see you never again, hopefully. Oh my God, the lag. Hello, gamers. This is what happens when you walk into a frat house. This is what you see. Anyway. After battle, after battle, after battle, it was finally time to catch a new team member. All righty. Look who finally decided to show up. A Pancham. I think Teddy Ursa is a pretty good name here. Ah, okay. Oh my God. <laughs> Everywhere I turn, a new battle. Sentra is looking kind of big right now. He's bulking. It's bulking season. Okay, so new city, new town. Insane vibes. No! No! Oh, he's back. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, now I know. he's all purple. You can't miss him. Everywhere we go, <laughs> we hear his powers. Oh my God, that's so funny. Check it out. 
every person we talk to brings a new and interesting thing to get out of there. <laughs> Kalos is insane. We have not talked to a single normal person yet. Congratulations. Yeah, what am I supposed to say to that? Hey, miss, this way, this way. Imagine like wandering up to a farm and they're like, you have to take care of this field. Oh my God, blocking the road completely. Come now, sir, use the polka flute. Do you even have it anymore? Nope, I handed it over. Or you could say it was taken by the owner of the palace. Basically the polka flute is what we need to wake up Snorlax. <laughs> is it breathing? Polka, polka flute is currently at Parf, Parf, Fume Palace. Believe it or not, we battled more trainers. Let's go. I love battling the same Pokemon over and over again. I don't remember this at all. If it's if it's like if it's anything like the anime, what is this? About the photo spot. Signboard indicates a photo spot. You can call Phil. This is just like Earthbound. Call Phil the photo guy over and he will take photos for you. Phil, come on over, buddy. Wow. Me and my friend. No! I blinked! <laughs> Do you like to save this photo? I guess so. <laughs> we'll save it, why not? <laughs> Would you like to give a tip? 1,000! I'll give 100. All right, anyway, tipping a lot because the rumor that it increased shiny luck. What is going on? Why? Are they joking me? I shouldn't have gotten my hair cut. You've got to be kidding. It costs money to go inside. The owner of the palace follows the school of thought. That you can never have too much money. Trying to scam me. <laughs> they don't even give me the option to say no. Better be worth it. Where could it be? My fur fro. You should help look. I mean, if my if my Pokemon was a thing uh, missing, I'd be sick with worry. Past this door is the pride and joy of the palace. The too vast courtyard. I thought that's a custard at first. Yeah, there's a lot to do before uh, before the second gym. Ay ay ay. Please listen to my song and hear my words. Palace region now upheld as fair. From ancient days, an ugly past doth bear. Girl, I just I didn't even ask for this. Three thousand years ago, upon this shore. <laughs> I am not tipping him. Ooh, look at the garden. Ah! Oh! This entire castle is a nightmare. I'll have a look in the back. Okay. The aerial view, let's go. Am I over this music? Yes. Oh, look at her walk away. Oh my God. Speaker, give me a hand. Okay, so it's just like the far-fetched all over again. Oh boy, this should be easy. What? <laughs> okay. Oh my God. <laughs> all right, so let's put, oh my Lord, it's zooming. Put her somewhere different. Can we put her right here maybe? Okay, I guess she should go right here. It's that that gym puzzle from Sword Shield all over again. Well then, we finally caught it. Speaker, you're amazing. We caught it because you understand how Pokemon feel. Yeah, that's why that happened. Could you be the two responsible for my Wonder Fro reunion? Oh my god. I gotta get out of here. This situ a situation like this demands fireworks? Rich people are insane. Maybe Fur Fro would have been better if we hadn't found it. Oh my god. The absolute tea and gossip we are getting from these characters. Yeah, we're gonna get through this fireworks show and they're gonna be like, that'll be $2,000, please. It's not even dark enough for, for fireworks. Y'all, what is going on? Um, you know, I really hope we get to be great friends, Arlie. What is going Going on. We haven't even seen them yet, but I'll know I'll never forget these fireworks. Because <laughs> I watched them with you, Arlie. The daytime fireworks. What a how iconic. Alrighty. That was amazing. Mr. Bonding is like in the corner somewhere. <laughs> Pretty mid fireworks if I'm keeping it real. And that was my wonder fro. Firework show. We need the flute to wake up Snorlax. I forgot that's why we were here. I'm out of here. Welcome to the team do what? Okay. Now nah, that's what I'm talking about. Welcome Hone Edge to the team. We're happy to have you here. Steel ghost. I did not know about the ghost typing. I think Clink could be good here. I'm, I'm good with Clink. Can y'all believe we're still not at the second gym yet? Ay, ay, ay. Did you actually manage to borrow the Poke flu? Snorlax can be grumpy when it wakes up. It might attack. Play the flute right now, but are you ready to stop it? I think so. Snorlax opened its eyes wide. All right, let's see. Will he get in the ball? Oh my God, that was so much easier than I thought it would be. He looks so tiny. It is not satisfied unless it eats over 880 pounds of food every day. When it is done eating, it goes promptly to sleep. Snorlax is a monster. We can go Geodude here. I wonder what lies past where Snorlax was sleeping. 
<sighs> Just throw the damn ball. I think Milsery is truly the perfect name here. I definitely did not remember just how awkwardly long the gap is between Gym 1 and Gym 2 in the Gen 6 storyline. After finishing up the mansion, we still had so much more to do! The pacing in Kalos is definitely a little weird, and it kind of starts to make the game feel like a little bit of a slog. Having to constantly do random trainer fights just to make a small amount of progress in the story is just a lot. I've always enjoyed in Pokemon games when you kind of can get your badges back to back. It just makes me feel a lot more productive and feels like I'm actually getting progress done within the story. The pacing is weird for sure. There are so many trainers to battle. I truly cannot believe we're still not done here. I definitely remember this town, Ambret Town. Let's go through the aquarium to get to Silage City. There is a Mr. Bonding in here. Okay, noted. We will avoid him. Yeah, we'll see you later. They're like, by the way, there's an item down there. Welcome, future archaeologists. <laughs> You're drawn here by the mystique of fossils, no doubt. The assistant in Glittering Cave right now might know about that. Good lord, they the last thing they want for me to do is get my second gym badge. You're going to search for fossils in Glittering Cave. You'll have to ride on a Rhyhorn to get there. The way this man just stays here, posted up, this is his life. What a view. Okay, this camera angle is gonna be interesting for sure. All right, we're going to the right. Oh my god. Something tells me we have made it to our first Team Flare encounter. They look so silly. Well, 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 what do we have here? A nosy little trainer has come poking around. Listen up, we're the fashionable team whose very name makes people tremble in fear. Team Flare. How are y'all feeling? You right, Cleva? Don't worry, she's sitting here. Just watching me. Flair, more like Team Pear. Team Flair's goal is to make it so we're the only ones who are happy. Why, hello. Here to look for fossils as well? Two are very lucky. I just now found two fossils, but they're both already they're both ones I already have, so I'll give one to each of you. It's the sail fossil. It shines with all the colors of the rainbow. Restore your fossils and turn them back into Pokemon at the fossil lab. Hope to see you there. How did the rocks come back? Who is just like setting up these boulders while I'm gone? They grew back. <laughs> I shall turn that sail fossil back into a Pokemon. Like what is the technology they're using? What are they doing back there? All right, Amora has been added to the squad. Um, where are the fish? Y'all, what kind of aquarium is this? Does anybody see a single fish in there? Would you like to give a tip for him for just speaking with him? Good lord, this region is insane. Here we go. Oh dear. If you're here for the bicycle race, I'm afraid you're too late. The race is over and I took first place. You don't have to say that. You could just be like, the race is over. Like a normal sane person. But let's try this gym. We'll see what happens. All right, this gym is absolutely insane. If you told me to do this IRL, I'd be like, I'm good without my second gym, actually. My second badge. Let's climb, baby. Alrighty, we're just gonna hop on into this and hope for the best here. What have I been waiting for? For a worthy challenger to appear. Quite an achievement to have climbed all the way up here. Very impressive, actually. I hope you'll show me what your skill as a trainer surpasses even mine. Hopefully this isn't too bad. Hello! Little water gun here. Alright, Oshawa, you can do it! You can do it! Hit through! You'll love to see it. Alright, one down. All right, so he just has the fossil Pokemon, and I guess that makes sense. He probably did in the anime too, and I just forgot. How much does this do? Um, we're gonna be here for a little bit. I love that he has the fossil Pokemon. That's pretty fun. All right, second badge. Jeter Grant is down, baby. Please accept the cliff badge. It's been 84 years since we got our first badge. Thank God we're finally getting our second one. The fact that you have to like go through it felt like three towns before we got our next badge. Truly insane. More trainers. It never ends. Oh, brother, what is all this? Giving Stonehenge vibes for sure. Oh, hello. Stop right there. I remember you. You're the one who foiled our fossil finding plans, and now you're here, standing around these stones. Do you have any idea what they even are? Of course you don't. You know nothing about the legend of 3,000 years ago that says 
Wait, what does it say? Oh, whatever. Who cares about all that? It's time for me to get some sweet revenge with style. New town. You love to see it. Oh, I love this song so much. Dude, this really is a rock town. Geosenge Town is the town of stones. Hear this, Pipsqueak. Team Flare is going to use the stones on Route 10 and a fantastic treasure to make everyone on our team happy. Arlie, was someone from Team Flare here just now? There's only a dead end up ahead. I wonder where that Team Flare guy went. If I may. I can sit on the rock! Where I'm from, we put Pokemon eggs in sand baths. It really is interesting how many Hoenn references there are. I feel like every time we go into the, uh, oh my God, it's him. Lucario, what are you doing? You're that trader from Route 5. Not as exactly sure, but I think Lucario is saying he wants to battle with you. Would you battle with us? Um, okay, I guess I don't have a choice. Leader Karina. Maybe I just, maybe she just gives me the badge right there. You remember that I'm the gym leader in Shalor City? Once you get past the cave just beyond here, you'll be there. Stop by and say hello. Why don't you just give me the badge right now? What's the point? Reflection cave. No roller skating. This is so sad. That's, that's scary. I can see too much. Oh, my lord. Okay. There are 8 million trainers in this, in this freaking cave. Mamma mia. We made it. When it came to this replay, I wanted to use some Pokemon that I've not used before. Thank you to my mod and friend, Joseph, for helping me evolve my Swirlex so that I could use a Slurpuff. I mean, Milsery, for my uh, first time on, on the team. Oh my god, are you joking me? It's bonding time. I did not consent to this. Yo, look at that. That's the Tower of Mastery. So cool. Hello, Lucario. I'm called the Mega Evolution Guru. The Mega Evolution Guru isn't my real name, of course. What is your name? Mega Evolution differs from evolution because it ends after a certain amount of time. In other words, it's a temporary evolution. First, you should challenge Karina, the gym leader. Before we got access to Mega Evolution, we had to go fight Karina again. But before that, we of course needed to talk to the guy at the front of the gym just to see what insane thing he had to say this time. What's the plan, Hitmonchan? And then, of course, battle a bunch of trainers. I know I've been complaining about the amount of trainers in Pokemon X, but to be fair, I really don't mind the trainers in the gyms. For the most part, I feel like, you know, I'm used to this. There are normally a ton of trainers in Pokemon gyms with all sorts of Pokemon, and sometimes they'll have the same stuff, but for the most part, I find it enjoyable. All right, here we go, gym three. And just like that, third badge is ours. Lady Karina gave a terrible display. Here's your badge. The Rumble badge. Chespin is evolving. This is huge. Chestnut finally is ours. Look at him. Only those who have been approved may climb the Tower of Mastery. You may pass. Thank you. Thanks for coming all the way up here. It was decided that this must be the place where the mega ring is handed over. Are you sure? You want to battle alongside that trainer? Dude, I would be so distraught if I had raised a Pokemon and then it was just like, I want to go with this guy instead. <laughs> what do you say, trainer? Will you and Lucario battle against me and my Lucario? A Lucario on Lucario battle. Ready, Lucario? Give it all we got. I cannot believe we are battling her again. <laughs> it's crazy. All right, let's do our first mega evolution. And that and that's uh so happy we got to battle Karina three times. This kind Lapras here once saved me from drowning. I feel bad though. I can't afford to travel around and show it the wide world beyond these parts. Would you mind taking Lapras with you on your journey? Shuckle the Lapras. Okay, Shuckle is also good. I'll go Shuckle here. Okay, Shuckle, welcome to the team. All right, here we go. It was time to catch the next member of the team, Mareep. The main reason I wanted to go for Mareep was because I didn't really want to use a Lucario for a Mega Evolution, and Mega Ampharos is pretty cool. I'm thinking Whimsicott is pretty good here. 
Hello, clip received. Arley, I challenge you to a battle in front of the gym. Hello? Congratulations. I see you finally obtained everything you need for Mega Evolution. That's right. I came here to give you this. Well, that will be helpful. Let's have a battle the next time we meet. I will be riding the monorail, yes. Who is this Pokemon? Gun to my head. I totally forgot to... I, like, if you had said, is Skrelp a Pokemon? I would have been like, no. I completely forgot about this guy. Never forget when I saw this Pokemon in Scarlet and Violet and thought it was a Gen 9 Pokemon. Gen 6 and 7 is really where I start to struggle with my with my knowledge. The Skrelp fandom is dying. We gotta get a picture of Skrelp up on the screen. How's that? He's just hanging out. After exploring the water routes outside of Kumarine City, it was time to explore the city itself and get our next gym badge. Wanna listen to my song? His song is called Go Go Get It. Sit back with a cup of tea. I think this is why I've always associated this song with Gen 6. Ooh, look at that. It looks very flat over there, but that's cool. I do not remember this gym at all. Literally at all. <laughs> How's the bout, little sprout? So you see a vine hanging in front of you, just grab right on. Oh, look at this guy. He's so cute. Whippersnapper. He's giving Tortimer vibes. Enjoy the garden playground I made with all these sturdy plants. That's a Stardew character right there. Oh, he's so sweet. Oh, no. We are very overleveled. All righty. Oh. Look at him. All right, the plant badge. I adore this gym leader, I have decided. Lumios Badlands. This is the worst route in the series. Route 13, my behated. Wow, I'm looking forward to doing this route. For anybody who forgot, our old friend is still here hanging out. Here he is. I don't remember this route at all, so this will be very interesting. They do all have arena trap, don't they, huh? Pass is needed to unlock this door, all right. So that's the power plant over there. There's a lot going on over there. I'm a member of the stylish team flair and I'm gonna win in style. I'll style stylishly run away, huh? Where's my power plant pass? Oh no, did I drop my power plant pass somewhere? I know what to do. I'll make a stylish deduction. I must have dropped it when I was feeling around that boulder nine steps east of where I'm standing. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. J okay, there we go. <laughs> okay, so now we got the pass. This is just like the Rocket Hideout. Whoa, this banger of a song, hello? This was the first Team Flare gauntlet that I had to go through. There are so many more Team Flare fights to come and I had no idea. But at least the fights helped me level up and evolve my Whimsicott. Oh! Are we ready for this? How much longer? If you're just interested in the facts, I'd say we have enough energy to power the device. Good, let's finish up here and move out. There's still more work to be done. Mr. Worldwide! <laughs> I don't remember these characters at all. Scientists, take care of this pesky intruder. It would be my pleasure. What is she wearing? Can you even see through that? You're quite strong. Oh yes, very strong indeed. Oh my, you chased off that mysterious bunch before we could even get here? Thanks to you, the power is back on in Lumio City. So those are just like the the, the little scientists for the professor, right? You're currently uh, replaying through Gen 6 to feel something! The Pokemon, the flower Pokemon, the Pokemon that was given eternal life. All righty. All right, we're back in this city. So, uh, you know, motion sickness warning. What is Skrelp doing in the corner? This is Skrelp's stream. Prism Tower. Hey, look, it's Clement. He's Lumio City's gym leader. All right, everything's ready. The future is now. Thanks to science. <laughs> Here she goes. This would have been so much better at night. Excellent. My prism tower lighting system worked brilliantly. 
Just like all of my inventions. Another, another, another gym to, to go. How may I help you? You're not as stylish as you could be. I'm so sorry to tell you this. This place is for stylish people only. Bitch, I'm trying! What the hell? Oh no, I didn't want it to be this dark. Okay, we look crazy, but our hair matches our eyes. That's kind of fun. What's cooking, good looking? You're looking a mite quizzical, friend. This gym is just not for me. I do not really enjoy trivia or quiz gyms. I truly believe that Blaine's gym from Kanto is the only good quiz gym out there. But we got through it pretty quickly. Both do our best in battle. Oh my god. He's about to hack my, <laughs> my Twitch account. <laughs> this music goes crazy. I love the flamethrower animation. Oh, the burn! Your passion for battle inspires me. This voltage badge belongs to you. Actually, Lysander himself is a royal ancestry. He truly is a chosen one. I'm a descendant of the king's younger brother. That being said, that story is 3,000 years old, so it might not be entirely reliable. Do not use Ancestry.com. People can be divided into two groups, those who give and those who take. It's just how the Kalos region's two legendary Pokemon gave life and took life. I want to be the kind of person who gives, but in this world, some foolish humans exist who would show their strength by taking what isn't theirs, their filth. A long, long ago, the King of Kalos sought to take everything for his own and he created a terrible weapon. Then the fire of destruction was unleashed. That is the legend that has been passed down. Kalos is beautiful right now. There will be no foolish actions if the number of people in Pokemon do not increase. So this man is basically like, what is his goal? He wants the world to just stay, like, to, like, freeze time? No more people, but nobody die? The King of Kalos did was reprehensible. The ultimate weapon did manage to wash the world clean of that era's filth. Thank you for listening. What was the po what was the point of this conversation? Beautiful world in the image of him. So after getting our fifth badge, we learned a little bit more about Lysander. He seems to think that the world is a terrible place because of people who take things that weren't originally theirs. Apparently there is no hope for humanity even though there are good people in the world. Anyway, let's check out Route 14. Oh my god. They've come to haunt me. That's the house. This is so tiny. It is a scary house, isn't it? Well, I guess we should go inside. Is it unlocked? Is that Mr. Bonding? Let's get started then. What is happening? Alrighty. What? We got... Yeah, but... Oh my god, that's Mr. Bonding. A lot is happening in this Pokemon Center. Also, we went and caught an Absol to put on our team so that we could evolve Teddy Ursa the Pancham. All right, gamers, finally, Teddy Ursa is evolving into an Ursa Ring. I've never used this Pokemon before. And then it was on to the sixth gym badge. Well, howdy, Miss Pouty. The sixth gym is the only gym that I really remember when it comes to the Kalos region, and that's probably because it's a brand new, exciting Pokemon type. The fairy type is in my top three favorite types. I am Valerie, who leads this fairy type gym. I hope your visit will prove entertaining to you. <laughs> Her eyes are a little scary to me. All right, Sylveon, you're a little too high of a level for my liking. The Toxic is going down. All right, how much does Toxic do this time around? Okay. You're not gonna like the answer here. Hope the sun is shining tomorrow. That would be reason enough to smile. I like that. Aw. With our brand new shiny badge, it was now time for the next Team Flare Gauntlet at the Pokeball Factory. Another area in Kalos that I have just completely forgot about. When I beat you, tears will fall from your eyes like Pokeballs rolling down a conveyor. Who made the dialogue in this game? Ball, 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 Pokeball, ball, ball, Ultra Ball. Who did the dialogue? Shakespeare. <laughs> Come now. 
work for Team Flare. What in the world are you Team Flare fools thinking? I'll never forgive any group that tries to take all the Pokeballs for itself. Blow this place to smithereens. Come on. You don't have to go all out for a pitiful president like him. Oh my, oh my. So lame. What a shame. We got beat. Enough already. We've already stolen the Pokeballs, Great Balls, and Ultra Balls. Let's call it good and leave. You saved us. Thank you so much. You're astounding Pokemon trainers for being so young. Well then, I want to show my appreciation. We get the Master Ball. If I choose the Big Nugget, <laughs> do you ever get the Master Ball? We'll take the Big Nugget. And as a bonus, you can have the other one you didn't pick as well. Mamma Mia. Always the illusion of choice. Why, hello, Arlie. It's snowing. Do you remember the Pokemon Lysander mentioned in that cafe? Xerneas. The writings that mention it are also around thousand years old. It would be absolutely astounding if you found it, Arlie. How does that Pokemon live for so long? That's something I don't understand about this game, is how everybody is alive for so long. I have to look for a Pokemon in the Frost Cavern. Okay. Is something wrong in the Frost Cavern, Mamoswine? Are you headed to the Frost Cavern trainer? This Mamoswine here usually can't get enough of giving people rides on Route 17, but these days it seems too worried about something in the Frost Cavern to give rides. Mamoswine seems concerned about something over there, so be careful. All right, no roller skating in here. That's for sure. All right, let's get through this cavern. Okay, so I would like to advise everyone to look away for the next 10 minutes. Um... You heal me up or something? Oh no, I can't feel my toes! <laughs> what? Why does Girder's head look like that? It's really cold in here, isn't it, Speaker? Is there something going on up ahead? This Obama snow is a fine specimen, absolutely brimming with energy. Catch it swiftly and get out of here. Whoever has the most Pokemon and the most energy will come out on top. Lazy people who just wait for things to be handed to them don't have to get don't have to get to have these resources. Why is Team Flare amassing Pokemon energy and money? To put it another way, why is Team Flare always trying to take everything for itself? It's so Team Flare and only Team Flare can survive. Doesn't battling with Team Flare scare you, Speaker? I'll admit it. It scares me. I don't like battling them. But we managed to protect Obama Snow by pitching in there. Mamoswine doesn't have to worry about Obama Snow anymore. And that's what matters. All's well that ends well. Tomorrow is the only thing that comes to you, even if you don't do anything. Everything else in life has to be fought for, so go out and get what you want. Wow. I don't know, these Team Flare fights just seem so silly and pointless sometimes. And the previous fights have had some purpose and value to the overall goal of Team Flare, but this Frost Cavern one, I know we aren't really playing Pokemon for the story, but at least, for example, Team Galactic going to the lakes to steal the lake Pokemon made sense. Team Flare was tormenting Obama Snow for what reason? I had to go through the Frost Cavern for what reason? To do an ice puzzle? There's the sundial. Oh my goodness. Everybody say fuzzy pickles. It's my guess that you've come to ask about the legendary Pokemon of the Kalos region, Xerneas. It happened around 800 years ago. A Pokemon known as Xerneas used its shining horns to illuminate the lands of Kalos. At that very moment, people in Pokemon throughout the land felt great energy and vitality surge through their bodies. At the same time, a vast forest sprang up with Xerneas at its center. Legend has it when it nears the end of its thousand year lifespan, Xerneas releases all of its remaining energy, sharing it with all living things nearby. So Xerneas has about 200 more years in him. Back 3,000 years ago, the Kalos region was engulfed in a terrible war. So the tale goes, a Pokemon came to the rescue of all the wounded Pokemon that had been caught up in the conflict. Some people suspect the Pokemon that appeared was Xerneas, but there's no way to know. Maybe they just wished a legendary Pokemon had come to the rescue to brighten a tale of woe. Supposedly, after Xerneas released its remaining energy, it transformed into a dried up tree. It remains in hiding deep within the forest, according to old tales, as I say, stories and tales. Me when I transform into a dried up tree. <laughs> what do you know, daddy-o? This place is a maze inside of a ball. Try getting your head around that one, right? Even if you find your way around, you'll have to watch out for all those psychic types. All right, this is a maze? Oh my God. Good Lord, how long is... Okay, no, never mind. This is the end. <laughs> all right, seventh gym badge. Here we go. The battle begins. How'd she do that? You're challenged by leader, leader Olympia. 
Psychic is fine by me, buddy. This is the coolest gym fight I think we've done yet, honestly. All right, we are quite a few levels up on this little girly pop. Are these all girl Pokemon? Female Pokemon we've gone up against? You love to see it. Create your own path. Let nothing get in your way. Your fate. Your future. Her bathroom or smells like hairspray for sure. Pokemon trainers, I'm come to you by the Holocaster to make an important announcement. Listen well. Team Flare will revive the ultimate weapon, eliminate everyone who isn't our group, and return the world to a beautiful, natural state. Imagine you get a notification on your iPhone and it's like, we will be destroying everybody and returning the world to a beautiful, natural state. Unproductive fools are consuming our future. I repeat, we will use the ultimate weapon and wipe the slate clean. Where are they gonna go when the ultimate weapon is used? I'm sorry to those of you who are not members of Team Flare. Where could Lysander be? We first met him in Lumio City. Maybe he's there? So I'm assuming go back to the cafe. Today our special is get out of here or else. Piece of furniture giving off a mysterious vibe. <laughs> Open sesame. Welcome. This world will eventually reach the point of no return. Saving the lives of all is impossible. Only the chosen ones will obtain a ticket to tomorrow. Do you want to have a ticket or do you want to stop me? Show me in battle. Okay, I wasn't expecting this, but... This is the first of three fights with Lysander in the end game. Three! And they all feel almost the exact same, except for the last one, which you'll see why for obvious reasons. After getting your seventh badge, the thing that stands between you and the eighth badge are what seems like eight million Team Flare grunt battles and three Lysander fights. It is crazy. Try to stop the ultimate weapon if you must, but to do so, you have to explore our lab, have Pokemon battles with all you meet. Oh, elevator key for me, let's go. I forgot that's what we needed. <laughs> I think we're gonna, I think this is like the little prison area maybe? I can't remember. Yes! Listen, one who will face Lysander. Why is he so tall? <laughs> oh, story time. Terribly long time ago, there was a man in a Pokemon. He loved that Pokemon very much. A war began. The man's beloved Pokemon took part in that war. Several years passed. He was given a tiny box. The man wanted to bring the Pokemon back. No matter what it took, the man built a machine to give it life. I just, I wish we could get some more context on that part of the story here. He brought his beloved Pokemon back. Like, how did you build that machine? How did that go? How, what are you talking about? The man had suffered too much. His rage still had not subsided. He could not forgive the world that had hurt the Pokemon he loved. He turned the machine into the ultimate weapon. I do not remember this story at all. So the tall man is responsible for this? So his thought process here is, oh, the world killed my Pokemon. And even though I brought it back, I'm going to destroy the world, including me and that Pokemon. The man became a bringer of destruction that, oh, okay. He wanted to end the war, but still, do we really need to go about it in this way? The Pokemon that was given life must have known. The lives of many Pokemon were taken to restore its life. The resurrected Pokemon left the man. Get the key back. Should not be used. Everything will vanish again. Do you want to know unending pain like I have? That is AZ. He has the same name as a king that lived 3,000 years ago and for some unknown reason he had the key to the ultimate weapon hung around his neck finally time follow me to my chamber how is he still alive whenever i thought back on pokemon x and y like i always felt good feelings towards him but clearly i don't remember this story at all how did he build the weapon is what i want to know like what did he use so the pokeballs we received and the pokemon we've gathered are all where they need to be the only thing left to do is put the plan in motion i'm counting on you one pushes the button and we activate the 
ultimate weapon from this room. According to Google, he is tall and living forever, forever because of the effects of the machine. Interesting. The target fades instantly if this attack hits. Okay. I want this on the... I want this move so bad, even though I know it is <laughs> just like a meme. But I think it could be so fun to see how often Cheer Cold hits. It happened 3,000 years ago. The ultimate weapon was used to put an end to the war in an instant. Behind me, you'll find a red button and a blue button. One of them is for is the button for activating the ultimate weapon. What? Press the red one. I'm pressing the blue button. You pressed it. You pressed the blue switch. Winner, winner. Congratulations. But I'm still going to activate the ultimate weapon. I know the boss promised that we wouldn't if you push the correct button, but I refuse to let the potential go to waste. So does this mean that once they use it, I'm gonna live, right? This poor town. Ew. <laughs> no, you are definitely dead. So there's the ultimate weapon. So here's my question. Why didn't they destroy this 3,000 years ago? Also, why was techno technology so good 3,000 years ago that this was a thing? Oh my god. Look at that. Wow. It's giving area zero. That's for sure. I love how they're just flipped and not like destroyed, you know? They're just flipped over. Okay, okay. I know this is an awful matchup, but what if we hit sheer cold? Hear me out. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Here we are going through our final Team Flare gauntlet and our second Lysander fight. All right, so this is like one of 20 battles, right? This is truly ridiculous in my opinion. Maybe I'm just not remembering the other games as vividly, but never have I felt like I had to battle so many grunts in a Pokemon game. Oh my god. None of these fights at the end of Pokemon X were optional to my knowledge. Oh my god. This is ridiculous. The admins truly need more personality. Like, this is not it. This is not the vibe. I think my favorite, like, of the admins and whatnot when it comes to Pokemon teams is Galactic. Mars was, like, a genuine challenge and terrifying to fight. Just constantly fighting grunts who have the same Pokemon. It was brutal and not challenging at all. I, but... Where did they come from? Oh my god, we have to do more fights. It really just kind of felt like a waste of time. Drama? Yo, Xerneas. Good morning. Has such a good cry. This would be terrifying. <laughs> Oh, we're just hopping in just like that. Okay, okay. Dare we throw a heal ball for the memes? Just because it would look nice in a heal ball. Okay, that's fine. One more, one more. I should have used a quick ball. <laughs> okay, the high catch rate is definitely for sure a thing then. Add Xerneas to your party? I think we have to. Great, now they can't use the ultimate weapon. I never would have thought that you were really a chosen one. 
Oh my God, please be so for real right now, Mr. Man. You look so stupid. What is going on with that outfit? That is what I am saying, Shauna. For me, victory is using the ultimate weapon. In order to do that, I need to reclaim the legendary Pokemon's power. <laughs> How am I standing on this lava? Yeah, don't mind us, just battling on the surface of the sun right now. Hear me out! We try to get a sheer cold hit in. Okay, we're fine. Damn it! Okay, it's fine. We're gonna do it again. Let's go! <laughs> nice. <laughs> Gyarados, you look crazy. They yassified the fish. Big shrimp. Yeah, Xerneas really is just... Oh my god, of course you know a Steel-type move, dude. <laughs> Xerneas really is here to just sweep this fight, I suppose. He throws the sunglasses on the ground. He's sick of them. Wog! The legendary Pokemon is gone. So you can't use the ultimate weapon anymore, right? You don't have to worry about the future all alone. Shouldn't everybody work together to make a beautiful world? If that were possible, all wars would have ended long ago. When the legendary Pokemon awakened, it took back much of its energy and its power that had been sent to the ultimate weapon. Arlie, Sycamore's pupils, let us live forever. That's right. I shall grant you eternal life. I'll give you the pain of endlessly waiting for a beautiful world to finally be built. Yeah, let's get the hell out of here, dude. Trust him, bro. <laughs> Oh, that doesn't look good. Uh, oh, okay. So surely this means the houses are gonna flip right back up, right? So glad you're all safe. I really respect the courage and kindness all of you showed. Thank you. We all got out in one piece. I have a little bit of news for you all. We managed to destroy the machine in Lysander's lab that was spying on people's holocaster transmissions. It's finally over, right? We can go back on our adventure. Let's go back to Anastar City and start from where we left off. A long, long time ago. A very long time. I can't, I can't, I can't forgive you for what you did, Mr. Man. Man made an ultimate weapon. Using it required the life force of many Pokemon. Pokemon granted eternal life learned from this. The resurrected eternal Pokemon left the man's side, as it should! The man was surprised and sad. He had revived it so they could be together. Day after day passed, but they were never to meet. Eventually, he, beca he became a mere shell of a man. A man condemned to wander forever by the light of the weapon, and a Pokemon that also wanders eternally. That sucks. Where is it now? What do I have to do to meet it? I am not on your side, AZ. Let me just say that much. After finally getting through the final Team Flare slog, it was time for more trainer battles. But honestly, I feel like I can't really complain since we got to explore some neat areas and caves, as well as battle rivals we haven't gotten to battle much throughout the story. It was a little exhausting to go from what felt like 200 Team Flare fights to more random trainer fights, but we got through it. So glad I went on a journey. I made some great friends, and thanks to my little Chespin that I met before we left, I was able to visit many places, meet a lot of nice, meet a lot of nice people, and make many wonderful memories. Okay, we have made it to Snowbell City. I was surprised at how easy the eighth and final gym badge was for the Kalos region. Once again, I do not remember any of this game if it's not obvious. <laughs> These gym fights were just not very memorable for me. I honestly feel like they should have switched the seventh and the eighth gym. I think Olympia was more challenging and more interesting as a gym leader and just suited the eighth gym leader title better. All right, we're done with badges, y'all. The gate is the entrance to Victory Road. Only Pokemon trainers who've collected all eight badges may pass. One, two, three. Wow, you have all eight. What? 
We have to fight him? Are you kidding me? There is truly something poetic about complaining that there are too many battles in Gen 6 only to have to battle the Pokemon League badge counter before entering Victory Road. Why did they make this a thing? I don't know, but honestly, I guess I kind of deserved it. Good lord, ay ay ay. All right, we finally made it. I blinked again. Is there a way to tell which one is which? Blazing Chamber. Let's do it. Oh my god, it's probably so hot in there. My makeup probably just melted off my face. Finally making it to the Elite Four and battling all these trainers again after 10 years was exciting. To be honest, I don't really remember any of these trainers much at all besides Diantha. They just weren't very memorable for me. I'd like to take this time to reflect on my feelings about the game while the Elite Four plays out. A big reason why I did this replay was so that I could utilize the Friend Safari on a brand new 3DS for the 3DS online play shuts down in April of 2024. I also wanted to replay the game since it's been 10 years and I've only played through Gen 6 maybe twice. My overall thoughts are that I really enjoy the charm of the Kalos region. I like the music, I really like the Pokemon, and I really enjoy the region. I think that the character dialogue is very quirky and ridiculous at times and I really like the various seasonal routes. I could have done without the ridiculous amount of Team Flare Grum battles and just random battles that didn't make much sense to me, like battling Karina three different times. The pacing was also a little weird, for example, that giant gap between Gym 1 and Gym 2. For me, I think that Gen 6 is where I start to think that the Pokemon franchise entered this easy mode. This is not an original take at all. I think a lot of people feel this way with the 3DS Pokemon games. With the experience share and the crazy amount of required battles, it almost feels like you can't escape being overleveled. But this generation did introduce a lot of cool Pokemon and shuffling around your team and turning off the experience share can easily fix this issue. I think I really enjoy Gen 6 as a generation. It's really just some of the story and team flair falling short for me. Especially with how intense Team Plasma was in Gen 5. Going from Team Plasma to Team Flare, for me personally, feels like a step backwards. I, I still think that the Gen 6 story is interesting and I enjoy the history a lot, but I just wish we got more of that history. And I really wish we learned more about AZ as a character. I wanted to go more on about this, but there's actually a new video that came out only like a week ago. It's a really neat video and it's from the YouTube user Presmer. I'll link it down in the description. They go over the wasted potential of the Gen 6 games. It's a really, really interesting watch, especially if you're a Gen 6 fan or you think about Gen 6 a lot. They talk about the characters, the region, Zygarde. It's a really interesting watch and I would definitely recommend it. And speaking of history, we have one more battle left with a pretty historic character. I'd like to present you with the honor of Kalos. I didn't finish reading that. Oh uh, my God. Are you joking me? Battle with me? Now, you're really gonna take away my moment here? I want to know what a trainer is. You've had 3,000 years to train up your team, buddy. Thank you very much for battling with me. Now I finally feel free. Free from part of me and sorrow, the part of me that built the ultimate weapon. I guess that's good. It's just hard to be able to forgive you, buddy. Oh my god. I forgot all about this. <laughs> it came back. Wow. Wow! Loet. It's been 3,000 years. That's insane! <laughs> His Pokemon was waiting all this time? Waiting for him to return to the man he was. The man who loved Pokemon with all his heart.
Wow. Well, how about that?